And it's nice to be back home among people that have had the same experiences and lived the same lifestyle. In a word, it's good to be home. Well, it's been a hectic four months. I left the job I spent over a quarter of a century at, started a new career with uh, some major responsibilities, had a daughter get married, attended many, many meetings, worked almost daily on a $55 billion budget, met with hundreds of people face to face, spent time with my family, went to more meetings, helped some constituents, worked to draw up legislation, met with school superintendents and teachers in all three counties, served on six committees in the House, tried to save jobs at the Marion Juvenile Detention Facility, sparred with the governor over his not releasing public documents, listened to a couple hundred hours of testimony on the budget, tried to create opportunities for jobs and retraining, had a few more meetings, <laughs> and don't forget driving to Columbus back and forth too many times to count. In a, in a word, I've been very busy, but I love it. And the deeper we get into it, the more I'm certain that I'm being faithful to what God has planned for me. I'm a firm believer that we all have specific tasks that we were created for. Like Esther chapter 4 verse 14 says, Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. I'm not special. We all have these junctions in our lives. I'm just being obedient, and God is using me. Now, every day our actions are watched to see if they match our words. And this is doubly so in an arena like the State House. You know, politicians don't have the best reputation for honesty and integrity. You know, this, I'm going off the text here a little bit. Um, that's not the case in White Dyke County. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this. We, we have been fortunate. We've had a lot of really, really good people. And we ought to be thankful for that because God has blessed us in that. But overall, and especially when you get to a place like Columbus, they don't have the best reputation. Instead, people believe that a politician will say or do anything to get reelected. And I wish I could stand here and say that's completely false, but it's not. I've run across some people in Columbus, both men and women, both Republican and Democrat, that fit this description. But I'm very glad to state that the House has many, many people working every day to help the citizens of Ohio in a manner that brings honor to themselves, to their families, to their state, to their country. And this brings me to my theme this morning. Should honest people get involved in politics? Yeah. Well, I'm standing here as a state representative, so you know what my answer is. But the next question is, why? What are the risks? Well, you can lose an election and be crushed by it. Don't kid yourself. Candidates take it personally, even if they shouldn't. When you lose an election, it feels as though you've been rejected. And we all know what that feels like. Now magnify it, and, oh yeah, put it on the front page of the paper. Okay, so now you won. What's next? You may be in over your head, and you're going to embarrass yourself greatly and ruin your reputation. This is a very real risk. I could name about four people in the state house right now that I think that's the case. You could be very capable, do a great job, everybody's going to love you and agree with everything you do, right? <laughs> you could be hardworking, capable, and very effective. And some people are going to be very angry with you. And sometimes even hate you. Or you could be the target of gossip, or even rumors and outright lies meant to harm you. Now, these are the risks you run. But even when things are going well, you need to remember the old adage that if you love sausage and respect the law, you shouldn't watch either one being made. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a group like this, there's a lot of people remember what sausage, making sausage is like. And it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, especially in the legislature, it can be really frustrating. So with all these negatives, why would an honest person get involved? Imagine what it's like to help protect a family from an unscrupulous insurance company and allow them to rebuild their house. Imagine working to pass legislation that's going to help make Ohio a better place. Imagine working to defeat bad legislation that's going to harm Ohioans. Imagine working with companies right in your own district to bring new jobs in. I don't have to imagine. I've experienced this. So for me, it's simply this. God has prepared me for this very moment and called me to action. <coughs> And because I was obedient, he has given me the power to do the right thing for the right reasons. To do good. 
Just as God says in Micah chapter 6, verse 8, it's quite simple. Do what is fair and just to your neighbor. Be compassionate and loyal in your love. And don't take yourself too seriously. Take God seriously.